as I promised, core and more, let's start working on them. All right, so let's march it out. Let's speed it up. Now from here, we're just gonna do reach across. And here we go in three, two, one. Make sure you use those hips, get them involved. Now from here, we're just gonna take it to the top, going over the head with it. In three, two, one. Watch this, here we go. Nice transition. Warming up that torso. Back across in three, two, one. A few more here. Should feel that heart rate coming on up. And relax. First exercise is we're gonna do the penguin. Everybody loves it. So you're simply gonna work the obliques. You're in your squat position. You're gonna to touch heel to heel. Now, if this is too complicated for you, you simply come up further and touch calf to calf. If not, you come all the way up in the other side and you can do side to side. We're gonna go down and keep moving. Got a few more seconds here. Try to keep that chest up and I'll turn to the side. Try to keep that chest out, head up. You don't want to be doing this. You want to come side to side, all right? Exercise is an upper torso twist. And we're gonna pause starting off. Go ahead and begin. Now, if you don't have a weight, you don't have to use this at all. You can just simply set it down and do the same thing. I'm grab that my weight. I'm lucky enough to have one at this time. A few more of these. And then we're gonna speed it up. No pause in the middle. Notice that my hips are really not moving. I'm just using my upper torso. And get ready, three, two, here we go, and this all the way around. Still start to feel it. Keep the core tight, make sure you're still breathing. Notice I'm keeping the weight close to the center of my chest. I'll turn to the side. Notice my hips are not moving, we're not doing this. Keeping the upper torso steady, squeezing that core, keeping the hips forward. A few more seconds and we're done. Keep moving. In three, two, one. We're gonna do the Russian twist. For advanced people, your feet are gonna be up. If you also, if you got weight, if you don't, you don't need it. So you can simply come side to side. Now, if you need to, just leave one foot up. If you're not advanced enough, and halfway switch. Let's go. Keep the core tight. Try to keep the body steady as possible. Go side to side. Now, if this is too much of a rotation for you, you can turn the weight to the side. Keep going. Now, immediately from here, we're gonna set the weight down. In three, two, one, lay back on your mat. We're gonna do V-ups. Squeezing at the top. Coming all the way down. For my bits, people, you can stick your legs straight up and then back down. A few more, make sure it's burning. Now we're about to pause. We're gonna hold it. Here we go. Then hold. Squeeze the core, hold your balance. Keep breathing. From here, extremely slow out. And relax. Next, we're gonna do the lower. Most people neglect the lower abs. We're gonna do flutter kicks. Now you can put your hands on your buttocks or out to the side, whichever you prefer. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. You can relax the head if you prefer, or you can bring it up in like a crunch position. Also working a little upper abs. We're gonna hold in three, two, one, hold. Come out nice and slow. Back in. Flutter kicks in three, two, one, let's go. A 
I'm gonna pause again. Here we go in three, two, one, pause. Make it burn. Now we, from here, we're going straight into leg lifts. Here we go. Try to roll that tailbone up off the ground. Come in control and the legs coming down. Three, two, one, nice and slow here. Slow, 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 feel the burn. Hold six inches, hold it. And relax. We're gonna do planks now. Now most people during Thanksgiving, Christmas, and all those holidays, we tend to overeat, extending the belly out from the inside. So now this is really good to bring it back in. So there's a high plank, which is known as the push-up position. Make sure your body's completely straight. We're gonna go down to our elbows and hold. Keep the core tight, keep breathing, keep the body completely straight. Your butt's in the air, you're wrong. We're not in the club. Joined here by Sadie, that likes to chew on her bone as I work out. A few more seconds, keep holding. From here, we're gonna keep it up and we're gonna do hip drops in three, two, one, just nice and slow. Keep the body completely straight. Don't swing back and forth. You wanna keep the body nice and straight as possible. Just drop in the hips. A few more here, I know it's burning. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax. This is a side crunch. Bring your knees up to 90 degrees. Simply roll them to the side. Now the object here is to shake your chin and bring it to your hip bone. Both hands behind the head for support, not pulling, just support. Squeeze at the top, make sure you're still breathing. Get as high as you can. We're gonna pause in three, two, one up. Pause, squeeze, squeeze, keep squeezing. It's good for these obliques. And three, two, one. From here, you're gonna simply come to the other side and repeat that process. Okay. You're gonna set a weight or anything in the house, shoe, whatever. You're simply gonna go back in the crunch position. Once you lean back, you'll feel your abs engage. Keep your chest out. You're gonna bring this leg up and over without touching the floor. Put your hand here on the side and you can feel it. Keep going. You're gonna feel it a little bit more in the hip flexors, but that's fine. You still got that core, core tight when you're leaning back. All you're gonna do is simply take it, switch, go to the other side. Same thing, do not pause, go to the other side immediately. Keep that core engaged, notice I'm leaning back. You're not really doing anything besides hip flexors if you're up top, if you're not leaning back, engaging the core. Side plank position, you're gonna thread the needle. Now notice my hips are pushed forward and not going back. Simply, your, your legs are for comfort, so whichever way you wanna do, Try to be as straight as a board here. You're gonna bring your arm all the way up, all the way through, rotating, bringing it all the way up. Remember to push the hips forward. Driving the hips forward, open it up as wide as you can. And relax. All right, so at the end of every one of my classes, you know it, we've got a finisher. I need everybody that has advanced, has taken any classes before, or works out at home, as we all are right now, you've got 100 full crunches. If you're not advanced, it's your first time, I need five zero. These are gonna get tough, but you can do it. I'll demonstrate. Everything is flat, so you're gonna come up trying to take your elbows and touch your knees. If you can't do that, just come up as high as you can. The feet barely touch the floor, try not to relax everything and then come back up. If you need to, you can take a small break. But when I say small break, that is a couple seconds and go back out of it. Now you really want to squeeze at the top. This is good for those cores. There you have it. Core more.
Hope you enjoy. Leave a comment.